terrifying. So. Is, is there a way for people with trauma like that, with a lot of people can't afford a therapist? It's a luxury. Yeah. How, is it possible for people to work through these things on their own? Oh, well, you know, this system that I told you about, the, the future authoring program is part of a package. We, we built this. I'm talking about this because we built this thing precisely for that reason, because mm-hmm. we were thinking, my partner is a professor at McGill University and a former student of mine who has a, he has an engineering degree from MIT and a PhD from Harvard. We've been working on this stuff a long time. Mm-hmm. So there's a self, past authoring program that's part of this. And so what it does is ask you to break your life up into six periods, epochs, and then to write out the most powerful emotional experiences that you had during those times, positive mm-hmm. or negative. And then if they're negative, to do a causal analysis. It's like, okay, you had this bad experience. You're still carrying some weight <laughs> from that. Why did it happen? Well, I was four. I was little. The six-year-olds were beating me up. It's like, okay, you're not four anymore. The six-year-olds aren't around after you. It's mm-hmm. probably not relevant anymore. Because mm-hmm. it'll ask you that too. You can do an awful lot by writing down what happened to you and thinking it through. And it's inexpensive, right? It's mm-hmm. the program is, it's nominally, it has a nominal price fundamentally. And so there's good evidence that doing that kind of writing mm-hmm. can, can free you up. Mm-hmm. And it's partly because when a, like, let's say your uncle molests you. Okay, what does that mean exactly? What does it signify about the nature of humanity and about the nature of the world? Well, it's something unspeakably terrible. So you don't speak of it. And so it's everything. It's horror. Like, it's, it's unspeakable horror. And then you write about it. It's like, well, it's, I'm no longer a little kid. Okay, it's not that. I'm no longer defenseless. It's not that. Well, people can be malevolent, but everyone isn't that way. It's not that. Mm. And you trim it down until it's, it's still awful, right? It's still a bitter poison pill, but it's little and pointed instead of a huge and amorphous. And you may find that you can tolerate that, mm. you know, because people are pretty damn tough, but you can't tolerate it in its amorphous form. <coughs> so you, you, you specify and analyze and, and do a causal, and, and well, the analysis is a causal analysis. And then that'll free you up. It'll free you up from that. Because your brain wants to know, you fell in a hole once. That wasn't good. Do you know how to walk around that hole now? And if the answer is yes, then the anxiety system says, no problem. The hole's still there, but you know how to walk around it, man. You don't have to worry about the hole anymore. So, and writing about your past can really help Mm. with that. And I would also say with that program, you do a bad job. You sketch it out. You do it over multiple days. You, you, and you take, because it also helps to sleep in between periods of writing because it, mm, it helps you sure. consolidate what you're, what you're, um, what you're learning.